After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops is threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail. Give me out, just give me out. I've been with the department here at San Salas County Jail for seven years. Working intake at the county jail is probably one of the more dangerous jobs because you're getting a guy fresh off the streets who's either under the influence, angry that he's arrested, they're high, or they're drunk or whatnot. And my job is to try to build some kind of rapport. So what'd you run into? A little park guard, somebody swerving behind me. So somebody swerved? Swerving behind you made you hit a parked car? Somebody passed me over the intersection. Somebody passed me. So I sped up a little bit. Then he's swerving on the road. And I was kind of blindsided. And I was going, at, I was kind of going on this little uh, swerving thing. And he swerved. He almost hit the car. I wish he would have hit the car. If he would have hit the car, he would have been here and you wouldn't have, right? Yeah, I know, exactly. Yeah. I'll be out tonight, though. I don't care. Money will buy your way to freedom. You mean your dad's money? That's right. How much you had to drink, man? I don't drink. So what did you do then? What kind of drugs did you do then? I don't do no drugs. Prescribed medication. Oh, what kind of medication is it? Vicodin. What do you need the Vicodin for? My lower back. I got to get surgery on it. Right. You can't handle the Vicodin, dude. You're slurring and stumbling and rumbling. All right, he's done. Here you go. Flintstone tablets. Downstairs. Been here plenty of times. He's a kid. And, uh, he's only 20 years old. He's been here, in and out of here, since 2004. And uh, he um, has it in his mind that you know, whenever he gets in trouble, Daddy's money's going to bail him out. I mean, he got out with case dismissed on his robbery charge, but you know, he's back again, this time under the influence and drunk driving. Uh, all from the same uh, same one, AJ's. Hey. Daddy's boy, get up. Slide over, slide over, man. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. Get up, dude. Get up. You all right? You're not responsive. Give me in. Stand up. <laughs> Stand up. I'm going to put you over in detox for a while so we can watch you. You guys, follow me. Three, please. You got it? Sorry, that's it. Yeah, okay. Let's go that way. You've gotten progressively worse since you first came in. You're gonna pull in one of these shells. Yeah, just for a couple hours. Oh, I'll be out in a couple hours. With no phone access, you get it. Oh my. Hey, have a good have a good nap. Yeah. Wait till I see you on the street. And then what? You'll just see me and wave. See you wave with my 357. You're basically, you know, this is the job. You know, you try to help a guy out. You know, he looked like he was getting worse from the painkillers, and then they turn around on you. You're calling your names, and it's part of the job. And you know, I don't even get mad anymore. You just deal with it. Grab a seat. Is this your first time here, James? You're not gonna talk? All right. I tried to be the best father I possibly could. And now I'm facing a felony. So, I'm a white racist Send me on the third floor. No offense. No, no offense. Cause I ain't gonna deal with no African telling me what I got to do, when I got to do it, and how I got to do it. No offense. All right, uh, James, first of all, there is no more third floor, the third floor you're thinking of. The, the whole jail is integrated, everybody's everywhere. 
So, so you're mixing woods with, with, with bloods? Yes. That's a scary situation. So um, if you can't handle that, we'll put you in protective custody and you can go on you that. You put side. me on PC, I'm going to get raped. I ain't going to do that. Not for, you know, not for spanking to... my child. You know what it's about? My sister called the cops on me. My mother called the cops on me. You know what that means? They didn't like you slapping your family around. It was their idea. Their idea? How was it their idea? Tell me that. Do it. They told you to do it and you did it? And now I got a and now I get the felony. What you did is serious. What I did was try to discipline my daughter who ran away. Check your records for a month and 12 days. There's certain ways you can and can't child. I've had them called on, I've had CPS call on me before. They say you can hit your child, but you can't leave a mark. Then you must left a mark because you're here. Uh -uh. Go ahead and sign Wait, the was medical. There a mark? Sign right here. Was there a mark? I don't know anymore. Was the pictures taken? Not a mark. All right, James, go ahead and sign right here. Sign right here and sign right here. Beat my ass and kill me to death. Mm -hmm. I am you not know? wrong. You gonna sign this or what? No, sir. Your partner pushed it. Your partner has to do, the, do with the paperwork. Medical? Mm, yeah. Stand up, James. Put your hands down on your, on your sides. Turn around and walk to the door. Chance your side. You don't have to put them on your hands, put them on your side. Walk to the elevator, James. Right here. God, not this. Take a step in there. You'll be GP once you once I clear you from here, you'll be GP. I'm not gonna kill myself. Alright. We're gonna watch you anyways. You'll be here for a couple hours. You'll be cool. I'll pull you out, put you on the other side. Alright? Just relax. Calm down. Obviously, he's had a little bit to drink tonight. Uh, he's here for, you know, striking his wife and kicking her. And you know, I just have a little talk with people like that. And we placed him in D8, you know, the sobering cell to let him cool down. And uh, hopefully, he'll calm down and we can move him upstairs. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen, all for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. One of the reasons that I enjoy my job so much is that every day is different when you come to work. You never know what you're going to run into. You never know what situation you're going to come across or how you're going to deal with it. I've been doing it for 10 years, and there's not a day that has gone by that I have not enjoyed coming to work. Come on in. Right over here. Anything sharp and dangerous on you? Like okay. What brings him in? Just a mug and print. Mug and print on theft? Uh, he's in here for a theft three, which is this time of year, um, our citations on thefts increase a great deal because uh, it's Christmas. Were you Christmas shopping? Uh, no. No? What were you taking tonight? I was taking insoles for my shoes. For your shoes? Yeah. Go ahead and take your sweatshirt off. Loss prevention guys got you? Yeah. Okay. Hold on your head. All right. So this is your property. This cash that you had on. You had $112 on you and you stole some insoles? Yeah. I have a great job. Why did you steal the insoles? Um, and he bought other stuff. He bought other stuff. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think it's like I used to not have a good job and, you know, old people die hard. It's paid for. Wow. I didn't put your gloves on there. I think I was probably waiting for something like this to happen. Mm -hmm. In some way. How much were the insoles? 12 bucks? 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Wow. All right. Um, we'll go like this. The good news is you won't be judged like a felon because it's only a misdemeanor. Pretty foolish. With $112 on you, that is foolish. Especially since the fine's probably going to be more, because they can give you, they can sue you for $150 plus the cost of the merchandise, up to $250 plus the cost of the merchandise, and you don't even keep get to keep the insoles. So when you have $112 on you, and those insoles can end up kind of costing you about $300. Yeah, those aren't, those aren't 
very good odds. <laughs> they better be good insoles. Yeah, they better be great insoles. You can have a seat right over there by your coat. Put your coat back on if you drive. Okay? Thanks. $10 pair of shoe, shoe insoles. $112 in his pocket. Do you have anything sharp on you that's going to stick no, me or poke me? No. You sick or injured? No, ma'am. Been in the hospital in the last 24 hours? No. Where were you born? Seattle, Washington. Okay. Yeah. Mike? Yeah. She's standard. I'm standard. What brings you in here tonight? Warrant here. What's the warrant for? <laughs> yes. Prostitution. Prostitution? Yes. Is that what you're out doing tonight? No, I was going to Kmart. You were going to Kmart? What were you going to Kmart for? To do some shopping. Okay. Are you still working? No. No? You're done? Yes, I'm done. How long have you been done? Huh? What do you mean? How long have you been done with prostitution? Not long. Not long. <laughs> okay. Hold still. I'm sorry. All right, okay. take your uh, jacket off. You got a coat shirt on under that? Yes, ma'am. Hand it to him. Okay. Take your shoes off. Put your shoes up on the counter. Okay. How long were you doing prostitution for? I've been working. I was working since I was 17. You since you were 17? Know. Yes, ma'am. No, I'm not proud of it. How old are you right now? I'm 51. So you did prostitution from 17 until you were what, 50? 51? 51. And not all the time. I took five years off to teach school. You taught yeah. school? Yes. You were a teacher? You can go check down in Phoenix, Arizona. Yes, ma'am. So why would you leave teaching and go into prostitution? Well, I went up to take care of my old man's mom before she died. I'm sorry. Just to get my That's dad. all right. Take your hair tie out of your hair, set it on the counter, please. So you know for a fact you're done, right? Yeah. Oh, believe me. I've been in trouble for prostitution for a long, long time. They'll tell you they don't even see me out there anymore. But your warrant's for prostitution, right? Yes. I was supposed to do some community service. I had to go help my dad. My mom. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, I'm going to get back in time. Right over mm -hmm. When you said you were a teacher, that I, I, I can't, you can't, I can't see, like see how you can go from being a, a school teacher, a, teacher. a school teacher into prostitution. I, I mean, something drastic. I was a school teacher. So, a client of mine, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't have to lie to you. A client of mine who worked at a school, he was mm -hmm. getting ready to be the principal. He asked me if I wanted a regular job because mm -hmm. he knew I was good at math. I said, yes, they hired me because of my math skills and because I knew all about inner, inner city kids. Because I used to go rescue kids at the crack houses and take care of it. Because mm -hmm. one of my friends used to be on crack and she'd leave her kid at Pass. So mm -hmm. I go get her and take care of her, and I just started picking up everybody's kids, bringing them to my house. And I was lucky because I had a good Sunday school teacher who taught, and I learned from her, and that's how I learned how to teach. Well, I hope you get the warrant taken care of. I am. I'm just going to do my 15 days, and then I'm done. Is that what you got? 15 yeah. days? Straight time? Straight time. I just want to get it out All right. of the way. Well, I hope it works out for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. All right, so take it easy. Thanks, Hastings. No problem. Thank you. No problem. So she's not working at all anymore? No, I haven't seen her. She's uh, just been walking around, They've been walking around basically. Um, but she's had a long history of, of working, and I've arrested her several times in the past. Talked to her. Uh, she gives me information on people on the street because she's out there all the time. Right. So, right. Um, always been cooperative, been great, really a nice gal. Mm -hmm. uh, she so seems like it. Hopefully, uh, this will be it. Okay. All right. We'll Thanks, Mike. Right. No see you later. On any given night, I can be assigned to several different areas that we have down here. Uh, I can be assigned to intake, where we uh, do the pat down before we let the uh, prisoner into the uh, general area here. Uh, it could be entry, where we enter their information into our uh, computer system. Uh, could be courts, where we set people up for court dockets. Could be working out here in the uh, open seating area, just watching over everyone and making sure that we maintain calm and, and uh, security in, in our facility. I'll take it to the back, pat you down. Like I said, don't sign Let's paper. go. Then I won't. Good job. Can I get my shit, man? I had to change I'll get you stuff. I'll get you stuff. I just got a car wreck. I have a broken spine and a broken knee. Right. Okay. Just walk. We'll be fine. Okay. I ain't even playing that one. My, my top of my spine is broken. I got a broken right ankle, a broken left knee, and a broken top spine. Okay. I'm going to have to get the nurse because he was involved in a Yeah, I'm seriously need okay. a nurse. Okay.
We're gonna get the nurse. Back. Uh, we're at the hospital. He's not broken. Turn around. No, we've got to discharge patient. Don't turn back around unless I ask you. Okay? Do you understand what I just asked you? Absolutely. Okay. You didn't, did you? You didn't, did you? You messed up. I'm not sure when I turned around. With you my messed up. Just one second and you messed up. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Hey, be careful. Be, be careful. My knee. Ah, you grabbed my knee. Shoot, oh, stand up, dude. Oh, no, no, no. Stand up. Yeah, I don't have my permissions. You do not grab my knee. Come here. Go ahead and turn around. Have a seat. Oh, Come on. oh. Got the hospital. No. Let me have, let me have your foot. Not. Let me have your foot. Ankle. Let me have your foot. Okay, please. Let don't me have your foot. Please give okay. the please don't You've got really ah. you've got really good mobilization. You stop, okay. I'll stop. Ow! For my safety, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check you out. Yo, police, please. Have a seat, man. Have a seat. Ow. Okay. Oh! That's why we God, call the nurse. Don't push on my spine like that, man! I just got to the hospital. Don't you understand? The words are coming out my mouth. What you get? You don't know got any respect for a car wreck. You know what? You got pretty good mobilization for a guy that has a broken back. While you're in this room, try not to do anything. Behave yourself. Okay. Right now, you've got freedom of movement of your legs. Okay. You beat on the door. You beat on the window. We're gonna take that freedom away. How the hell can okay? I beat on anything when I'm injured, man? Okay. I'm just telling you. How the hell okay, I'm just telling you, anything. if you kick on the door, anything, we're going to take it up a notch. If you do anything past that point, okay, you get, yep. I got you. Go ahead and go over there and have a seat. Go over there and have a seat. Step over there and have a seat. Be careful with me, sir. I'm yeah. injured. Okay. okay? Please be careful. Please be, be careful with me, sir. Please. Dude, it's totally up to you. Your actions dictate everything we're going to do to you. So no, have a seat. Please be careful. I'm, I'm injured. injured. I'm not even playing. I don't think you are injured. <laughs> Oh, bro, hey, I'm, I just got a car accident, ow! Don't. Ow! I said you! Stop resisting. I ain't resisting you! Ow! You're gonna You're breaking my wrist! Stop it! I'm Dude. not then Jesus. calm down. Then Jesus. calm down. Put your hand yeah, down. Put, right now. Going, man. put your hand down. Right. Dude, no, I'm you... going to ask you one more time and then I'm going to do it again. Put your hand inside this thing or I'm going to do it again. Please. Bunch of crap, bro. This is all you're doing, dude. Put my on the desk. Hey, that a bunch of crap. We're gonna wait for the nurse to check him out and everything. And uh, if he's cool, if he doesn't jerk around and, and yell and everything and try to flip the chair, which a lot, a lot of them try to do, um, I'll take him out of the chair. But he has to earn that. He's gonna have to earn that. Decided to go ahead and give him a shot. And did everything that I asked him to do, so we're gonna go ahead and put him in a less restrictive cell. Does well there, he'll get an opportunity to sit in the blue chairs. All right, guy, this is what I'm gonna do. This is, this, is the, this is the other portion of that. It's a step down. Yes, sir. Okay, we're gonna get you out of this room, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put you in another room that's a little less restrictive. I don't take anybody out of here and put them immediately out there. We do the step down. We're gonna go to another cell. Once we leave there, you go out to the blue chairs. Okay, all right, get your shoes. Go ahead and get your shoes right there. And come this way. 
Uh, you got to stick me in with like four people. Is it going to be all right? Nah. Till we can get you out to the blue nah, chairs? Or we're gonna or we're gonna leave you in there and keep you there a long time. You can just it's up to you. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna try him out. We're gonna see if he'll survive in that room and and do exactly what I ask him to do. If not, uh, we'll go back to a more restrictive room. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking the trick and the cops is me in jail. And my fingers are ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Give me out, just give me out. I guess what I like most about this job is not only my coworkers, but the different array of people that come in the door on a daily basis. Everybody that comes in here has a different behavior and the behaviors are challenging not only to me, but they're challenging to my staff members. These people are the people that normal people don't want to deal with. They're the people that we love to deal with. That's why we choose the job that we choose. Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off right now. You know what? You need to calm down right now. You got it? Take his coat off. Hang on, Rick. What's his problem? He was going to release. So you were going to release? And you blew it. What's that about? Huh? You don't want to go home? Is that the deal? Yeah, I do. Then why did you do that? Because I thought I was going upstairs and you didn't call me. All you got to do in here is listen to what people say and behave and you get out of here. And you screwed that up. Now you're going to be here for a couple more hours because you screwed that up. You screw it up again and I'll find a way for you to stay. You understand that? Thanks, Hicks. He's been sitting in the chairs for quite a while. He's on our release list and he saw that last group of guys going to housing. All of them. And he thought they were getting out of here before him again. And, he's and then that's when we locked him up against the wall so we wouldn't hurt anybody. All right. He just prolonged his visit. He's going to be here for a couple more hours. Yep. Your head there, bud. We heard about you. Are you the Corvette speeder? What'd you do? In a pursuit. He's drunk. In a Corvette? Yeah. yeah. Is it total? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Why don't you put these down? <laughs> Wait, can you take that off? Yes, sir. Hey, it's a Rolex. Be easy on that, would you? I won't even touch it. Just slide it over to him. He was in a his little red Corvette, brand new 2007 red Corvette. Yes, sir eluding the police department for about 15 minutes. He finally ended up crashing and totaling that 2007 Corvette. So not only is he going to have the fines from the Dewey, he's going to have to replace his entire car. So who knows, he might have to hawk that Rolex he just put on the counter to pay for that car he just totaled. And hopefully he didn't kill anybody tonight. Hey, William, did you kill anybody tonight? No, because I stopped in the intersections on no. running around. I didn't run red lights. Okay. Run in place. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need help. Go get help. I got to make the money to keep my big thing going on so I don't have time to go to rehab. Well, you got to figure it out. I know, I know. I, you, you know, I know. You're going to run out of cars pretty soon. No, I'll kill somebody like the lady said. Yeah, and then you won't leave. No. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. I mean, you may have totaled the car, but you could have totaled the person. I understand. I didn't talk to every light. I did. I wasn't going like those crazy bastards in California. On the show. I stopped at lights. I did. They were way back. You guys were right back behind me, so I couldn't stop at the lights. It's not funny, but I did. I wasn't going to blow through a light 80 miles down and T-bone some poor family and kill them. Wipe your hand off. Go have a seat by your coat or sweatshirt. You can talk guys here in Multnomah right County are very nice gentlemen and ladies. Well, thank you for coming. I don't want to come back. Okay, have a seat. The officer said that your car is done. It's totaled. 
brand new 2007 total. Do you have kids? I got a Corvette and a Fanny. Had a Corvette. Had a Corvette. I'll get another one. Don't you worry about it. Oh, uh, I'm just a I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. You need to make some changes. What am I going to do, though? What the hell? Go out and do it again and kill somebody next time? Put your feet down, please. I, I might. It might happen. I don't know. I it might happen, so you're saying that you're okay with going out and drinking and driving again? No, I don't drink. Possibly I don't killing wanna, some wife no, with hell no, hell no. I okay. don't never want to do that. Then don't drink and drive. You think I'd get off on all that junk if I went to treatment? I bet. Probably not. Not all of it. Some of it, though. It'd be the best for everybody, though. Best interest for everybody. How about just you? And me. But the society. Society. I'm about done listening to your problems, okay? So do me a favor and just sit there and be quiet right now. Absolutely, all right? Man. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm sorry. He's going to go to court in about 30 days. He's going to get an expensive attorney and probably fight the charges. And uh, it'll be up to a jury or a judge to determine what's going to happen to him in the end. I've been here approximately 10 years at the Orange County Jail. On a daily basis, you're dealing with hundreds of people not knowing what they're here for. One minute you could be dealing with someone who's just in here for DUI. They just want to go home back to their family, whatever. The next person you deal with is someone that just killed someone out on the street corner. You don't know what to expect. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, sir? What do you guys get? Nathan, come on out of the car. So what's going on, Nathan? Come on over here, Jason. You want to get a phone calls, Nathan? You're off the wall, and you're off the balls, castrating yourself, masturbating with hating. Yo, my name's Nathan. You're a rapper, Nathan? What would it matter? You got the rhymes going on? Me, I'm a relative of you. We're all brothers in this earth. But what is the earth? It's part of the universe, and it's all given birth by the Big Bang. Boom! Oh, look, he's laughing. So you, he's in for vandalism? Yeah, he uh, basically vandalized his mother's uh, screen door. Absolutely not. Stop lying. Initially what did she call for? Initially, he was on the roof threatening to ride his bicycle into the pool. So. How, would I, how would I ride my bicycle from the roof to the pool? Hey, it's been done before. By who? Evil Knievel? He responded a lot of times to his residence. Tonight or? Well, within the last two weeks. Okay. It's, he's it, but he's so been up on the roof. Why is it that your mom called? He she wanted me to get off the roof. His mom, she's 20 years old. His mom doesn't want him right there anymore. She's 20 years old? You're 20 years old. Your mom doesn't want you in the house anymore. I was, I'm not in the house. you keep coming back. I wasn't back. in the house. No, but you're at the house. I tried to force her to do a restraining order, didn't you? Why didn't she do the restraining order, officer? Why she keep calling us about you? Because you keep coming. Because I'm no. called. So no. stop coming. All right, this way. Use your inside voice. No, First Amendment. No, you be quiet. No, what? First Amendment. You can be quiet. You be quiet. I have a seat for me. Take your shoes off. If you don't pay attention. Logic and psychology. I was tutoring. Take your shoes off. Mom, I am. I can walk and take off my shoes at the same time. Hand me your shoe. My mom called the police. I got fired from my job because my mom put me in a mental hospital. My mom got me fired and I ended up on the streets. I got suspended by a criminal justice professor when I was homeless and I wanted to sit in on the class and learn. Nathan, stand up, follow the blue line. <sighs> stay, 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 on the line. stay right on the line, okay. okay? I have to shuffle and not lift my feet up. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, stand on this blue X right here, face the machine. This is kind of cool. It's gonna blow your mind. I'm autistic. Are you? Yes. So what's going on with the situation at home? There's got to be a reason why she won't let you stay at home. My mom's scared of something. No, what do you think she's scared of? Everything. Including you? No. Everything but me, I guess, is, is what I'm saying. But, OK, she's not letting you stay there because, she, because she's scared, but she's not scared of you. Yeah. I think I'd be scared of you and be fine with everything else. Well, that's what you're trained to do. Be scared of the criminals. Walk this way. She's doing experiments with me. 
experiments with you. How? Open You're up. hurting this hand. You're hurting my right hand. Open How up. am I hurting your hand? With Open. your other hand. All right, Nathan, have a seat. We'll be back with you in a little bit. Uh, seems like he uh, vandalized his mother's front door. She also has a restraining order on him. He uh, appears to be a little on the mental side, and uh, he will be seen, I'm sure, momentarily by our mental staff, and further evaluations will be done at that time. You ready to interview him? Yeah. All right. Nathan, right? Move your shoe. All right, just have a seat there. Nathan, my name is Susan with Mental Health. Hi. So why are you here? My mom called. Your mom called. What was the reason? She called because I was on this, I was on the roof of our car court on top of the ladder. Okay. So do you ever hear voices that other people don't hear? All the time. All the time. So what are the voices saying to you? Let my people go. Are they singing to you? Yeah, I'm singing to myself. I'm not schizophrenic. I just sing to myself. Okay. So did they diagnose you with schizophrenia? Never. No? Okay. So where are you living now? I'm homeless. Okay. Thanks. Since he's homeless, has no place to go, and obviously isn't doing too well on the street, I'll send him over to EGS. Okay, sounds good. So that, you know, at least we know that he's gonna be safe for the rest of the night. Our mental health uh, has called for uh, ambulance to transport Nathan here to uh, uh, ETS, which is a mental health hospital, where he'll be evaluated for a 72-hour period. Hey, Nathan, step on out. That no, was... need to put me in restraints. Right Let's there. see. They can tell you I haven't been violent or physically. Oh, look, restraints. No, these are just, just company seat policy. Belts. They're just seat belts. Going to ETS, which is a psychiatric hospital, and they'll evaluate you over You're a doctor, there. Doctor, right? No, I'm a nurse. Oh, I love nurses. I love doctors. I like. I like. I really do love everyone. But I'm not crazy. All right, we're gonna get you out of here. Jail in Hillsborough County, Tampa, Florida. Here is Central Booking. It's an open setting where all males and females gather together at one point and they go from place to place like intake, they go to property, they go to fingerprints and medical. Everybody's given a chance to act like human beings when they come in here, regardless of what they've done on the outside. I like to call that a self-fulfilling prophecy. They're given a chance to be together with everybody else to get to this process. If you show a problem, that you're not able to do what you're supposed to do and you can't function with everybody else, you end up in one of the holding cells for a little while. Last year, we booked about 202 people a day, and only one time we had to use a restraint chair on those folks, which shows that the self-fulfilling prophecy works, and that's what direct supervision already sucks successful in this jail. We're going out in the salad port. We have a, um, a female that's spitting. As she's being transported, so we're gonna go out and put a spit mask on her face to make sure that she doesn't spit on anybody. Mm hmm? This little one right here. Which one? This one right here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on out. Mm hmm? Uh, oh, no, don't you stop that! Hey, you're not gonna suffocate me. Nobody's not suffocating you. Yes, you are. You're trying to suffocate me. No, you're not. This goes hey. on your head. I, I'm not resisting anything. It ain't about you resisting. You're me. spitting, and this goes no, on your me. head. I'm not spitting anything, man. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. Let, let your hands go. Let go of it. You're not gonna suffocate me. You're not gonna kill me. Hey, tell us what you're gonna say. Let go. It's not gonna kill me. Well, nobody's gonna.
gonna kill you. Yes, just to keep you from spitting. I'm not spitting anything. Get up. I'm not spitting anything. Hey, I didn't spit anything, man. Let me go. No. When we take the, the leg irons off of you, you lay still. You keep your feet down, do not move them, understand? Yes. It hurts, but you know what? I'm tough. That's all right. This is my first arrest, baby. This is my first, you know, thing it over. This is the important part. Do not bang on this glass, do not bang on the door, do not holler for us. Yeah, Listen to me. Yes, sir. Yes, You're going to stand here until you calm down. So she'll sit in a holding cell until she calms down, then we'll take her out and see if she can make it through the rest of the process. Yeah. We're gonna want her to talk to her and see how she uh, see if she's calmed down any. Kimberly, you ready to talk? Calm down a little bit and leave her in there a little more. We get all kinds in here, and we never know from one person to the next who's on what type of medication, right. what type of medical conditions they have. We have to be ready, and we have to know about everything. I'm already got a damn heart condition. Yeah, well, don't thin up on me, and that won't happen. You understand that? Yeah, I got you. Okay, take your shoes off. Just step out of it. Man, this is Yeah, bad. step in there and shut your mouth. <laughs> he, she's trying to process him. He doesn't want to take. He's giving her mouth, giving her lip. You don't have to use that tone with me. I don't fly here. You don't tell people here what to do. been in the holding cell now for a couple of hours. We'll go ahead and let her out and uh, try to get her through the process. The majority of the time, they're fine. They calm down, they start to sober up. All right, Miss Kimberly, I'm gonna have you sit in these chairs. I'm gonna let them know you're out of the holding cell so you can get through this process and get out of here. She was able to come down for us. She, uh, she was polite and calm. We went to talk to her, so we let her out. She did good. Let's talk. We're chit-chatting with him. Oh, we're chit-chatting? We're just in peace. At one point out of the blue, he just started banging on the glass pretty aggressively. So got our attention pretty quickly. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. You guys need to give me my medicine or I'm a freak out. I take an antipsychotic for a reason. I have bipolar and I have OCD. I need my Seroquel. My Seroquel is what keeps me calm. I'm not trying to be a I know you guys think I'm trying to be a I just need my medicine. It's time for my medicine. I'm gonna take you out of here. I'm gonna take you over to the nurse and have them screen you. If you understand you need medication, we're gonna try to help you out. Okay. But, That's all I'm asking. Okay? But you got to understand, you 
can't be acting out like that. That's why you got in here in the first place. That's also why I take medication. Okay, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt that if he is on these meds, he needs these meds, let's get him medically screened and find out what's going on with him. It looked like he was going to have to get hands on with this guy and put him in the chair, but all he was just he needed medication. And once he came to medical and talked to medical personnel, he got all better quick. And the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life. Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my hair. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the